Okay, this is the uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it has the amazing Final Cut camera app that recently came out in 2024, which is great. But it has this issue where um, you can shoot videos on it, and then <clears throat> you can copy them to the Photos app on the iPhone, and then from there, you can copy them to your computer. Um, there's multiple ways to share from the Final Cut app, but you would think that once they're deleted off the app, they're gone. But I found that that may not be the case, at least with my camera. So what I found was, when I go into the app, so anyways, I don't know if you can see that, but once we touch the Final Cut app, we get that page. You get, it says turn on Bluetooth to allow Final Cut camera to connect to accessories. I hate it when it does that. I have to keep pushing close. So once you get to close, and you're looking at this thing, um, what happens is that uh, you have to push this box here to see if you got any media. There's no media in here. And then from there, you, you copy them, right? Because you can't see what you got until you press that box down there. So anyways, <clears throat> I tried to shoot a video today and I couldn't. And it said that my camera was full. So then I went into like settings. Anyways, if you just go right to the Final Cut camera, it's not going to tell you anything. Like it's not going to say, you know, what's going on. So what you have to do is, so what you have to do is you have to go into general and you have to go into iPhone storage. And once you go into iPhone storage, it'll tell you at the top there how much storage you've used. And I've used 228 gigs of 256. So I'm getting near the end. And then so it'll just give you a list of the apps that um, are sucking up all your storage, right? And right at the top, I got Final Cut Camera. It's right at the top. And it's got 206 gigabytes in there. Like if I go to my uh, iMovie, it's got 600 megabytes, that makes sense. If I go to my, uh, where's my photos? My photos has 63 megabytes, so that's not much. But Final Cut camera has 206 gigabytes, and if I push on that, it just says, yeah, your app size is 67 megabytes, but documents and data are 206. But the question is, like, where's the data? Because it's not on the actual app. It's stored it in the phone. And it's not letting me shoot any more videos because it says it's full. So now, I've Googled this, and there isn't really a lot of information on it. So it sounds like with an iPhone, you can offload the app or delete the app and then re-download it. Um, doesn't sound like offloading. They say sometimes if when you offload it, it clears the cache. But you can't really clear the cache on an iPhone app like you can with Android. So I'm thinking the safe thing might be to just delete the app and then reinstall it. Um, because this phone is not connected to the cloud, so it's not hiding it in the cloud somewhere. So I don't know if I should go and offload it first. It says offloading. This will free up storage used by the app, but keep its documents and data. Well, that's no good. 
reinstalling the app will place back your data if the app is still available in the App Store. I could try it. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. Okay, let's try it. Okay, I'm going to hook up to the net because this phone doesn't have a uh, this phone doesn't have a um, a SIM in it. I just use it for photos. Okay, we're hooked up, so we're hooking up to the Wi-Fi. Now we're getting into we're getting into iPhone storage. Now we're going to get into the final cut app. Then we're going to go offload app. Offloading Final Cut camera will delete the app, but keep its documents and data. Well, that's not going to be helpful. Okay, let's offload the app. We offloaded the app. Yeah, it still says documents and data, 206 gigabytes. So let's go back. Yeah, we're back in iPhone storage. It's still, nothing's changed. Okay, so now we have to go back into Final Cut camera and then reinstall app. We're reinstalling. See what's going to happen now. Still got documents and data at 206 gigabytes. So now I'm going to go for the delete the app. Deleting the Final Cut camera will also delete all of its documents and data. This action can't be undone. So I pulled everything off the phone. So it's on my. Uh, laptop so this should be okay nothing should be able to go wrong here in theory delete app so the app is deleted I don't know if I have to shut the camera off now I mean shut the phone off and restart it or can I just go straight to the app store I think I'll just go straight to the App Store. Going to the App Store. Okay, we're going into the App Store. And uh, I just did an update on this thing too. I just did an update in the Final Cut camera. Okay, let's go into search. Final Cut camera, Final Cut camera. There it is. So we're going to go Final Cut camera and then we're going to go download it and it's downloading. And I'm going to open it. Welcome to Final Cut camera. A good sign. Record professional videos with full control of your footage and connect to Final Cut Pro to for iPad to capture multiple angles at once with live multicam. That seems to be the big thing that they're into. I'm just into shooting some videos. Continue. Required permissions. Camera access and microphone access. Continue. Allow. Final Cut would like to access the microphone. Allow. Okay, this looks good. We've checked, there's no media in here. So now the asset test. We're gonna go into settings. And now we're gonna go into general. We're gonna go into iPhone storage. And the iPhone now has 28 gigabytes of 256 years. So we did indeed erase all the data off the Final Cut camera app. Now, yeah, it's not even on this uh, size list there. Now the biggest one I have is GarageBand. GarageBand's got 1.6 gigabytes. What's in GarageBand? Like I never use it. Like YouTube's got 1.27 gigabytes. What's in there? 
iMovie's only got 673 gigabytes. I mean, megabytes. What's in GarageBand? Maybe I should delete that app too. So anyways, it appears that that is the fix. So if you have a Final Cut camera app and it won't, it just keeps collecting. You delete your uh, videos and they don't seem to leave your phone. You may have to delete the app and then reinstall it. But make sure that you dump all of the videos inside the app before you delete it and reinstall it. I want to do a full review of this app. I love this app. I think it's the greatest app ever. But uh, that's kind of a little weird thing that you have to, uh, when you delete something in the Final Cut camera app, it's not deleted. It's just sort of deleted. I'm sure that they'll fix it with a software update eventually. Um, Apple will get around to it. But for now, it may be an issue that affects your or maybe not. Okay.